G'day guys, it's Marcus here, back with another Learn Some Drums lesson. This time we're looking at Hot Wine Bling by Drake. Now the actual beat in this song is actually pretty advanced to play on the drum kit. But as always, I'll break it down and we'll do the advanced version, and then I'll look at a few things that you could take out that will make it heaps easier, but will still sound pretty much like the song. So let's get into it, I hope you enjoy. There are four bars that you're going to need to play pretty much the entire song. Now, the advanced part is that the hi-hats are playing triplet patterns, while the snare drum and kick drum are playing 16th note patterns. And so we end up with kind of like a 3 against 2 pattern, but it's going very quickly, so it's hard to get everything in the right spot. So I'll demonstrate the four bars for you slowly, and then I'll speed them up, and then we'll go back and look and see what we can take out to make the whole beat a bit easier. Let's get straight into it. Right, that is quite a challenge. I think the best thing to do is slow it right down and really try and lock in the kick drum and snare drum so that you can let the hi-hat kind of float over the top without having to think about it too much. So that you can just get those triplet patterns in um, over the top of the 16th notes. Anyway, now I'll play all four bars up to speed and we'll see how that sounds and then we'll get onto the easy version. So that's everything that will make up the song, and hopefully it kind of sounds like the song, but it's pretty tricky to play. So let's work out a few things that we can leave out to make it a bit easier. First up, all those 16th note triplets on the hi-hats that I was playing as doubles before, if you can't get those doubles up to speed, try just buzzing them. If you play triplets as a buzz, it will still sound kind of cool. So just apply a little bit more pressure in your fulcrum right there and you'll get a cool buzz. Okay, so let's go to the first bar and what we're going to do is the triplets at the end on the hi-hats, we're just going to leave those out. I don't think we need them and it will still sound pretty cool if we leave them out. Much easier. The hi-hats and the kick drum and the snare drum, they all line up instead of having that three against two thing. Second bar, we're going to keep the triplets but leave out the 16th note, the very last 16th note on the snare drum. So that will sound like this. In the third bar, we're going to do the same as the first bar. So we'll leave out the hi-hats, uh, the triplets on the hi-hats. We don't really have to worry about the fourth bar because it stops before beat four most of the time. So hopefully those easy versions of the bars make it easier for you to get up and running playing the song. But if you're up for the challenge, go for the advanced version because it's tricky, but it is also really fun to play. So happy practicing. I'll see you guys at the next lesson. 